Hey guys, it's your boy Brett coming to you again with another Summoner's War video. Uh, I'm going to call this one uh, Beginners, you know, Part 2, because I know I covered a little bit of things for, for new people here in, in the first one I did. But, uh, you know, I think I cut it short. There's still a few extra things we can go through uh, just to help you guys get moving. So uh, let's pick that up. All right, so we're in here. Let's see what we got going on. I always got to check my shop. So we talked about the shop. This second shop that I'm looking at, we went through all the tabs. We talked about what to buy, what not to buy first, um, and everything that you're going to need to get going uh, in regard to uh, what to pick up. So again, just a brief recap. Uh, we were talking about glory points, what to buy, what not to buy in here, if you're going to be pay to play, stuff like that. Um, I also talked about getting this bad boy leveled up here. To level 10 so your energy goes quicker and of course what to look for in here I did talk briefly about runes but what I left out is and arena now this isn't a full in-depth uh, talk about what to do in arena and how to get max points all that fun stuff same with uh, with TOA this isn't you know how to you know top TOA 100 type of thing this is, again, beginning stuff to where uh, you'll get extra energy. You'll get a few extra gems. You'll get that mythical scroll. You'll have some glory points to be able to pick up and, for instance, boost you know, your, your little energy mysterious plant there. Or, of course, be able to have uh, mythical scrolls to summon early on, things like that. So let's check out. Uh, we're going to start with Arena first. So I didn't get to show you guys this yesterday because... Uh, Rita was tallying up because it was Sunday, but it's now Monday. So as you can see at the bottom, I'm ranked 1127. Trust me, that won't last long. It's the beginning of the week. Um, I've got a rival here. As you see these guys count down. I go through and I hit these guys as much as possible. Uh, you see they give you three glory, three glory points, uh, two crystals, and as you go down, it kind of goes up a little bit. Not by a whole lot, but the quicker quicker you beat them, the quicker they go. Uh, let me, for instance, I'll show you top guy I got going on. That's my everyday, really quick arena. Beat them so I can move on, team. If you want to see how they work, I'll let you guys check this out. Uh, nothing too special. This will probably set up another video I'm going to do here about combos. Um, I talked about the winner for the mirror and my uh, little spotlight on him. But as you can see, I have Beretta go first, which is the red uh, Sylph. He drops down his dots, so we have his dots go off, which I think as many as I want, but then I go through, and then I can pop, hopefully, see he inflicted defense break, I have this bad boy go through and hit somebody there, and then the mock crush is the ability that does more damage based on number of dots, so there you go, one person's gone, uh, I'll go through, we'll defense, try to defense break him again, ooh, then we'll just defense break somebody else. I'll stop somebody's turn. Now I wish that didn't work. You know, and I usually just auto this. I don't know why I'm not now. I guess because I'm talking through it to show you guys how it works. Um, again, this isn't really a tutorial on arena, just to show you that when you go through. Ah, uh, he's doing something special. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so he should be about done. Ooh. And then he should be about done. So as you can see, this uh, little uh, basic arena team is nothing special at all. Just enough to go through so I can win. Um, I get two crystals, three glory points, a little bit of mana, a little bit of XP. Nothing special. But the point is, is I'm done. He resets, so in 11 hours, when I wake up in the morning, I'll be able to hit him again. I got this dude, Razak. He's coming in two hours. Uh, Tahane, 15. Uh, Shy, 4. Um, Morgana, 5. So all these guys, honestly, when I wake up in the morning, with the exception of, is it Kane, uh, I'll be able to hit again, and you see there's more, more crystals. I think if you start up my... Uh, beginner's video part one, you'll see I was maybe 1,100 crystals, now I'm at 1,400. Um, so that's, you know, build up those crystals. You'll need them, you'll want them. Uh, crystals are just like runes. 
kind of the name of the game. Runes take you through building your characters. Crystals are how you get to get more energy, more arena invitations when you get there. And of course, uh, how you're going to buy that premium pack if you choose to do so. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. In conjunction with arena, uh, we're going to go through and talk about the Isle of Conquest. Now, my guild battle for the night is done. As you see, shout out to my my farming guild, Ghost of Stark. We got our guild leader in there game night. So uh, just shout out to these guys. These guys have been great. Uh, but I want to talk to the noobs here about uh, guild battles. Find yourself a guild. And don't go for the gusto and think you're going to go to number one just because you're new and you really want to do so. It's not going to happen. Uh, find yourself a farming guild like these guys here. They are amazing. We go through. Uh, we will pick up. Uh, well, hopefully we pick up guilds just like us. We set a very, very weak defense. We go through. We knock them out real quick. Everybody kind of maximizes and guild points. You can see it there in the bottom left. And what that helps set up is in your guild shop. It gives you more options. So again, we're not looking at these first scrolls. They put them up there. It's like it's like candy at the checkout aisle in the grocery store. That's what you see. That's what you want to buy first. Skip all that. We're going right there, that rainbow mod. When you are new to the game, when you get yourself in a guild, get yourself in a nice farming guild, go through this once a week, buy this uh, rainbow mod for 150. It's a max level four star. That's going to allow you to boost any four stars you have that will help you get them up to level five. So you're going to need four four stars to make the four star you want to boost up to level five for a total of five characters. Okay, the four feeders and then the main one. That way, as you start to see yourself progress to where you know the farming guild may not fit you anymore, you want to go to your normal guild, where it's just pretty much you know head to head, you know best person win type of thing. Great, but this is going to get you. Up there, I think doing this with this farming guild, I've been in the, I've been with them for the start. I've gotten actually all my five stars with these guys and my first six stars. So these guys helped out a lot. I haven't done anything with the summoning stones, all mighty pieces. If you're missing a piece, uh, you can buy that and it kind of just takes the place without you having to wait for it. Uh, it means you don't have to farm for it. Uh, legendary summoning pieces. I kind of started getting into that now, um, only because. After you get, I'd say at least five five stars. Once that is done, I would say start working on here. Uh, it should take you about a month and a half, maybe two, depending on how serious you are about getting them. Because as you see, it is it's 450 pieces for 10, and you can only get two weeks, so 20 a week, and you need 100. It gets very stressful, but when you get this up to 100, you will get the water effort, the wind effort, or the fire effort. Um, either which one is good. As you see, I got a mirror, the wind effort. Uh, it was worth every every bit of time, but uh, that's going to be second. So again, rainbow mod first, you know, boost them up. Uh, effort second. <clears throat> if you don't want to go for a second effort. Uh, of course, you want to be into probably your legendary summoning stones and continue to buy these. And they're never going to hurt. You're always going to have a, a four star that you want to feed. You know, you'll just have plenty of five stars, and then your six stars will just start to roll. You know, instead of having to, uh, you know, wait and boost and, and all that stuff, and just, you know, it gets monotonous having to farm for that all the time. Um, with that said, uh, you see, we won this this one here. So again. Shout out to my group, Guild, uh, Ghost of Stark, uh, Guildmaster Game Night. Uh, like I said, they've been great. Uh, so let's pick back up here. Uh, we're going to talk about Tower of Ascension a little bit. But I want to finish out and just show you. I was talking about boosting and getting fours and five stars. As you can see, I've got a bunch of these Rainbow Mon here. You can do this with Rainbow Mon. You can do this with any old character, whether it be a uh, two-star, three-star, four-star. doesn't matter. You're going to boost your two-star up to max level. You're going to feed two more characters to that one, and then you're going to evolve it. Better yet, I'll show you here. We'll go to our power-up. So if, uh, see, we got a max three-star. You see it says evolve. It tells you I need one, two, three, right underneath. So if I had it, I could do one, two, three. 
that would evolve this Rainbow Bond into a four star. When that's all said and done, I could take him and I could, for instance, boost that four star. It has to be maxed out before the evolve pops up. And then, of course, I can boost him to a five star. And then, of course, I'm going to take five five stars, make a six star. Okay. You usually want to make your first six star farmer. I was just so happy I finally got my inferent. I had things waiting. That's what I did. Call it right or wrong. It's your option, but most people will tell you a farmer. That way it just helps you progress. All right. Let me talk about quickly your Tower of Ascension. <clears throat> tower of Ascension gives you, as you can see, five people to go through a tower. One through level is 100. Through each level, uh, you will get one summoning stone. You need 50 to summon something out the summoning portal. Hopefully you get something good. Uh, but the reward info is pretty much every stage is one summoning stone. Every 10 stages, uh, well, excuse me, every five stages you get crystals. Uh, then every 10th stage, as you see, 50 energy, uh, one three star max rainbow mod, mythical scroll, 100 crystals, two crystals, so on and so forth, all the way up. Uh, this is a quick and easy way to one, learn how to build teams, learn how to beat certain teams and get enough things to uh, you know to have mythical scrolls to have more crystals all that it's a it's a cheap way to do it without you having to spend any money and it resets I believe every once a month and as it resets you get to do it all over again uh, once you get good at it you get to change that to hard and then you get to roll with the big boys me personally I stay at normal I think the highest I've ever gotten was maybe 45 hey I just went through it to get another mythical scroll another 100 crystals I do that you know, again, I told you guys before, the game is going to give you stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that's Tower of Ascension. Other than that, we've got the Curios Dungeon here. I'll do that in a completely other video. Uh, I'll tell you what to start farming for first, what to look for, how to use this. It's a lot more in detail than it used to be, so it kind of gives you some tips and tricks on how to do it. Uh, other than that, the Rift, it's cool, but... Beginning game, nothing you really want to deal with. Save your energy. You'll do a lot better with a lot less energy. You won't waste as much here. That, and of course, you only get 10 tries. You only get so many per day. Other than that, there's not much else I can think of. Let me collect my crystal there. Um, yeah, you know, you want to make sure you use your wishes. Make sure you collect these as they get maxed. Um, you want to make sure you use all your arena invitations. Oh, that's one last thing I was going to talk about this. My defense for this is, as you can see, actually, that's from last week. Usually, I leave it looking like that. That way, I attack somebody, they attack me back, we keep going, I build up. Uh, well, yes, that way I go through, and when I'm ready to go to my shop, I've got 390 glory points. Um you know, like I said, I'm not really big on arena. Well, I am, but I'm, I'm not good at it right now. So I'm not looking at moving up the rank. I'm looking at going back and forth to get as many glory points as I can because now that I've got my mysterious plant built, max level 10 is Monday. I'm buying that right now. That's a skill up uh, to skill up one of my monsters. I've got a few of those guys. And then I'll go through it. You know, maybe now I'll start buying one of these. Um, but I really should be looking into these now if I want to start moving up in arena to help me with uh, different things like that one's wind attack uh, 3%. Uh, you see fire attack 3%, things like that. So uh, just a little beginner's part two video I'll put together here for you guys. Like I said, part one was great. I got a, lot, uh, a few views on that. Actually, I got a lot of views in my opinion for only being up for about four days. Uh, part two here. Hopefully it answers some questions because I see some things on the Facebook page, uh, Summoners War USA, Facebook. Check it out. We get a lot of questions answered there. Again, shout out to my group, uh, Ghost of Stark, best farming guild we got out there, uh, Guildmaster Game Night. Uh, any questions, you guys let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Get at me. Next video is going to be summons. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I want to do it right after this one. or I might wait to do it tomorrow to see what I pull, if I pull any more Mythical Scrolls, stuff like that. So... With that said, y'all have a good night, keep gaming, and I'll see y'all soon.